Hey there, I am JB and welcome to Orange County Kingdom. It's a lovely morning and today we are going to add in three projects. And these projects are not my ideas, but these came from my viewers. The first one is actually off Cat Cows. He would like to see an inn slash hotel. And I think that is a very good idea because we need to give the sailors, traders and whatnot a place to stay when they visit the island. Another idea comes from Chief. He would like to see a scarecrow between in the crops. I think that is a very nice idea. And he was also suggesting, which is a very long story, which I'm going to make short, is a pound. So I think it would be nice to have a little bit of a park type of deal. Just make it like cozy. Trying to add in something that looks like water because in islands it is not really possible to just, you know, take a bucket put some water in it and then put it into a pond so we will have to fake it and so after a little while i got the floor planned out here on the ground there are a couple of things extra i would like to add and you no know, i got a couple of very good reasons for that so in this case it's not only going to be an inn on the ground floor it is also going to be partly a restaurant on the ground floor because i think if we make a hotel on the first floor second floor then the whole ground floor is empty and making a inn on the whole ground floor is going to be a little bit too much right and if i need to de-increase the ground floor space then the hotel will be very tiny so a restaurant it will be in the back here will be a place for the folks that would like to sit outdoors you know when the weather is beautiful like this and then on top of that i want to make like a balcony so if it rains then these people that sit here and you know it's warm and rains they can still be there without getting wet and then the people on the balcony have like a nice view onto the ocean and the crop now i call it a bit of a park right but it's more the garden of the hotel but i want normal people or the people that doesn't visit the hotel or the bar or the restaurant to also being able to get to what then is called a park now right out here there will be an entrance and the reason why I got these blocks like that here is because it's exactly the space from this to that which I want to you know have this archway also in there I will make like a, uh, a staircase type of deal so I don't have to mess around too much with this stuff you know people walk through and then there will be another archway when you come out of this area you will get into the park class garden now in this park slash garden, I want to have the pound right here in the middle. And I want the pathway to go, you know, a little ziggity zaggity. And then I uh, go over a piece of a bridge or was the other side. No way. Yes. In order to take care that we don't place high stop right out here. I actually want to take care that we're going to break open those fences. And we're gonna add this piece of farmland right in here where we can grow another couple of crop then from the garden you can also go out here towards the beach and then down here there will be more of a natural selection of plants and bushes because we need to keep a little bit of space for the for the windmill to receive the wind that mostly comes from north now of course it will not only be like a straight path going to that corner i also would like to have a little bit of a like a path that goes around the pond and it's gonna be pretty freaking nice now i'm not sure just yet what i'm going to do on this side but i am kind of thinking to make a, a bit of a higher wall now in this park area i'm not going to flatten out everything i'm going to use the same idea as what i did with that pathway over there so i'm gonna make like a sand pathway and then at the sides i'm gonna leave all the ground roughen up because it makes it feel like more natural as in you know people don't come here and stomp the ground every day again so there's no need for it to be flattened out it is a new day for me and I've also been working on to the garden and or a little bit more onto the floor plan of the inn and the hotel. Now regarding to the garden down here, I have actually decided I'm not going to make a bridge because I feel like this pond is getting way too small and or just having one pathway with a bridge and cross two or two beats I find a little bit boring 
I really want people to have a little walk around here and you know maybe play some benches at the side where you can just sit and enjoy the sprinkling water that will be pop up right down there I think that would be a very good idea and not sure why I walk this way but let me just take the blueprint camera and blueprint this whole section down here and then we're going to have some fun in the editor all right so in this case we first need to make a scarecrow and i will add a surprise to it but you will see it once i have placed the actual scarecrow and since it's halloween i'm just thinking to use this pumpkin here it looks scary it looks as it looks and you know this hat would actually be perfect it's only a shame that there is like a uh, face onto it hmm. this would have been nice right give it a bit of a mask but jb you can find the hat at the hat so i'm not sure if i want to you know pick something like this or you know keep it a bit you know like this type of deal it's uh fancy i like fancy fancy and scary now of course we need to give the scarecrow a body and i think the best idea to get an idea of the height is by placing a human and then just do it like this of course the scarecrow, the scarecrow needs to have a suit my, my speaking i just like kind of woke up my mouth still needs to uh, cooperate i'm trying to drink more coffee at the moment too so i will get it warmed up at some point you know that that kind of gets it already mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i'm starting to feel it i'm starting to feel it let's make this all more this kind of brown and i'll guess somehow some way i'm going to, need to implement like a little bit of grass idea i'll try it it's not going to be easy since the, the shirt is more thinner than the grass but you know what i i am already happy with this the way how it looks yes it's getting through but you need to use a little bit of fantasy right that's that's how it goes in these kind of games i'm going to save this one up of course, I won't show you the final surprise, which makes the scarecrow really scary. All right, I got the floor plan right down here, and I will try to create certain new modular walls and bits and pieces in order to just make it a tiny, touchy, little different. But I want to keep in mind, all of this stuff is local, and I want to keep in mind, it should kind of all be the same style slash is i have an idea i will just show you an example in a minute but i think it's first going to be important to actually make the building now it's 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 going to be super simple actually uh the way how i need to show it to you guys because i cannot really go deep in details but for most part it will look a little bit like this and then have like another floor on top of it where the rooms will be right and underneath there we go underneath we will have the restaurant and the inn now of course the inn it's going to be a slight bit different because we have like this little step down whatever to call it uh so i'm just going to add in oh well, let me just do this one like this right so this this is something to keep in mind it's not going to be too much of an issue because the first floor i want to have it partly stone so anything below that will also partly stone and maybe i even thinking about like why don't we why actually not make like another floor on top of this like make it like a huge building and then of course on top i want to have like a roof like this now for the outside though i would like to let me see something here yeah okay it's gonna be thin so not not too thick so on the outside it's going to be very simple it's going to be this where the people are going to eat then well it is too big these pieces but you have to imagine there will be another floor on top where people can sit on a balcony and then there will be uh, another balcony on that so it's going to be two balconies for the restaurant and one outdoors place to sit for the folks at the restaurant that's basically it like i've been saying it's it's a bit difficult to show you guys exactly the idea but <laughs> with this and that you have a little bit of an idea now of course we need to make it look like an inn and just using these windows is something that i'm not going to be bothered with because it doesn't look in right for me an inn looks like i'm just gonna use quick build pieces if i need to make like a, a, a front wall say like this height then i would like to use these glass pieces like these guys right and i want to make these windows a little bit like hi i wanna i wanna i wanna show that there's an inn in here 
right something like that uh, of course these window stop will depend on what is going to happen with the front right because we have the whole front here basically to make like gigantic windows which i think i want to build the front first before doing anything else and also this part and that part so i can have like a good overlook on how that exactly looks like you know i really start to like where this part here is going i really love the blue along the orange and a little bit of red now i am going to need to have two names and i'm going to, need to figure out how am i going to add in the name for the inn which will be right down here and the name for the hotel which will be right down there however i have been rethinking the whole show once again and i come to the conclusion that i'm not going to put a hot interior into this building because my goal is to have a whole town built because i had to think way back to season one where i built a little town on the island and i noticed at some point i start to lose frames a lot and it came up to about 30 because i detailed the heck out of the area so much detail interior as outerior exterior so i'm going to keep that in mind stay at what i been saying now of course the one thing that will get 100 full interior is of course the castle i'm gonna put my 100 into that now the next thing that i am going to need to do is build the whole outside man it has been plenty hours right now and i got the whole complete thing done for right now and i'm pretty freaking happy with the end result so from the front beautiful right from the side beautiful I'm only not sure like what I want to build on this side of the building since on the other side of the building we do have already a building and I know you know for the windows what I can add basically this is a room and this is a room that's the idea you need to have and then this one is actually for the hallway so the balconies partly here at the front for the front rooms and then this will be the balcony for the back room i'm only going to need to add in a little bit of decorations in here to make it look less boring uh, this is how the back side for the restaurant looks like there will be some nice spots here to sit outdoors it will have two doors so no messing around with one door and people crashing into each other but yeah you just have to you know use a little bit of fantasy i did add it in a floor in here just to see how it would look like but you know i i'm actually glad that i decided to not do it because it really seems like that i would have needed to add double walls in here to make it look nice indoor that's the only downside of you know using blocks in you know game like this that if you would like to have a different colors different looks you're going to need to double this up which means even more blocks to spend and right now we, this is the third building so you will notice at some point even when we fill in the whole town down there and everything in the surrounding that things will become heavier and then everything is without interior now just for the sake of things i just want to grab this building and kind of show you why i had issues with the other side and i kind of based it on this building to feel like what what will be going on down there so this is where you get a little bit of an idea already like which i need to decide where to add windows and where not but this is of course you can imagine this is going to be like a tiny little hallway for uh the, um, the hotel that, and then a big staircase goes up so having a little bit of windows in here just for the tiny bit of light that it can get is just very nice and of course these things just to fill it up a little bit and then down here yeah it's just basically blank and boring but i have been thinking what what would it be nice is to add something in the sky now i'm only going to need to take a little look how because the ground goes up here and then i'm going to, need to figure something out it would have been ideal actually if this building would be one up or this one one down and that we could use these beams down here to place something between in now i've also been saying it would be nice to have one of these guys in here maybe like that but hey i do not really feel it though like this would be okay which is actually down there too but 
I'm missing out on stuff here and all the windows in the way. Now, of course, I can move with one forward, which the whole building also needs to be, apparently. And then have it like that. Mm, I'm not I'm not really feeling it. I just want to see when this building is placed, what we can do with this alleyway to make it look lesser uh, boring and make it more interesting and also make it more friendly to walk by and go to the garden. I would say so far so good. I really start to like what is going on down here. And of course, you know, you have to imagine there will be higher buildings all surrounding this middle area of different heights. I had to add this little front part here with the staircase or else, you know, step up was a little bit too high. Also put down here. Around the corner, I'm not sure this yet on what will happen, but of course that's for another episode. And then we got a little alleyway here and I have not checked out the height of the wood. It's a, it's a different height. So that is not going to happen anytime soon, but maybe, maybe, maybe. I can also just ignore the height type of deal if I can show it with these guys. I can also make like a, a pole somewhere, right? Doesn't have to especially be right down here because breaking things up, making it look nice is better. And then, and now and then I could just start right out here. Example, lower it until there is like a nice height. I have another one on this side, of course it will be made out of wood. Right, and then have this block like that. And just check out the height for a second. Hello, there we go. But yeah, this is uh, a perfect height. Does it need to be higher or lower? And uh, the reason why I'm also saying that if I put this one too high, it's gonna look a, a bit funky right down here. And I think we should start out here with that. Uh, yeah, because you know, the awning stuff. It might be fun to just have that, right? A couple of poles. Not too much and then have a lot of these planks up in the sky and see what else i can do with that now of course the next step that is going to need to happen is the garden now to make it myself a little bit easy i'm going to just blueprint the whole area and make something in the editor and so holy moly it is monday already but I just finished off everything that I needed to do and I'm just going to show you the end result of the garden, the hotel, a couple of extra things and or of course the scarecrow which I gave something extra to make it even more scary. So in this case you can see I have added some more grass and some more bushes and whatnot to this area. I kept in mind if that thing needs to rotate toward this way that there is some free spacing. And we're just going to use some fantasy that all of the wind is mostly coming from that direction. So this will be fine, right? Then down here you can see the piece of a wall. And I decided to actually make a gate in it because at night this needs to be closed. We don't want to have drunk people in the garden because the people that stay at the hotel needs to have a nice rest night time, right? And sometimes you just see this. You just see that... There's like a wall and you're like, oh, nobody can get in and the wall. Oh, and then all of a sudden it's just a fence. You see that in the real world. We don't know why. There's always a reason for that. But sometimes, you know, I can't let you add it in. But yes, there's a lot of green here, a lot of blue and a lot of pink. There's, those are the colors I wanted to go for because there's a lot of green and a lot of white. Um, this gives me yellow is it's early morning still for me. Uh, so yeah, I've chosen for these colors that you see right here. I've added a couple of benches and you know, it's cozy. It's very dense, but it's cozy. The pond looks like that. But it's very difficult in this game to make fake water because there are two ingredients needed for that. Uh, let me just say three ingredients, which one I have. But ingredient number one, transparency, which is something we cannot do. Ingredient number two is reflection. Uh, it might sometimes be difficult to see, but it is indeed, as you can see down there at the shore, you see the reflection of the trees or mirror type of deal. That is another ingredient and of course all of the, the, the white glow you see on it is basically from the sky and the background and the sun. Yeah, of course the color blue, which we can add. Now even though you don't see much of it, you know, the whole stone type of deal, I thought I want to keep these pattern because, you know, it makes it look 
just a little bit more messier than this smooth surface tone type of deal, right? Like I said, you don't see much, but you know, every little bit can add something to it. Maybe I should have added like a little ducky in there. But anyways, yeah, I I really love the way how it looks, and you know, people can just like sit here and relax and enjoy the water sprinkler, and then have to go to the toilet each ten minutes. Hey, the people that are eating here. I mean. That's a nice view, right? Fresh garden and horns and whatnot. I'm not sure this yet what I'm going to want to do on the other side of the wall. Might need to build something that is a little more industrial like ish. Here's the thing I'm kind of being done now with the, the, the big voilets type, too, right? Because the voilet is it's very heavy. I already noticed once I had. Uh, <laughs> Once I got here and cleaned up everything in this area uh, without the wall, I had like around 140 FPS, right? Right now, it is 104 FPS. So I got down very quickly 40 FPS ish. So if I would repeat this type of deal what I'm doing right now, it's going to be laggy and buggy real soon. So this is also the reason why I want to skip interiors because interiors are always super duper detailed hmm. i have a cool effect yeah it's super duper detailed right and the more stuff the more quicker lag so we're gonna avoid that yeah, anyways in here i wanted to do more planting but it's okay it's okay let's just keep it a bit sandy and of course maybe i can add like a, a plank underneath there or uh, it it it's fine uh, the idea with the thing on top, I've skipped that. Not really sure why. I think it's because at the moment I started like, oh, I need to place this uh, fence gate in here. I, I kind of forgot about it. But, you know, I think it's fine like this. I also kind of like that the vision here is like a pink tree all of a sudden. And you're like, whoa, what is a pink tree? That is beautiful. And it's open and doesn't say forbidden to get in here. And then you walk like here and then, hello. And then hello, and you already feel like awkward, and then you come into this garden, and you're like, wow, look at this, look at that, and ah, that smells lovely. So yeah, if you guys ask me, if, you know, all of a sudden start wondering myself, did I even show you guys, like, what is up here? It's just super simple, because we're not gonna get really up here, but, you know, something like this, or something like that. But yeah, I guess this is going to be the thumbnail as I press on F12 once again. And yeah, the one thing that is missing on this is of course the names. I need a name for the inn. And I'm going to have a name for the hotel. And I would like to see if I can place that up front. And if need, I can still change something because it's all on grid, right? That is the nicest thing of having stuff on grid. And with this being said, there is one more thing that I need to show you guys. And that is this guy right down here. What is more scarier than a scarecrow? Well, one holding a sign asking for money. Everyone is scared for people asking for money, right? You wanna, you wanna, you wanna avoid that. You wanna go assassin creed through these bushes and not getting seen. Yeah, but yeah, this is a little bit of a joke, of course, uh, for a uh, chief. Because chief uh, likes to wander around with his money sign and ask for money or a banana or whatever people can give, right? <laughs> I actually really like this scarecrow. I like the, the the color combinations on this guy. It it really fits. It fits in with with the stuff, which is actually the thing that shouldn't be right. It shouldn't fit in. Because then the scarecrows won't see it. But you know, it has like light up eyes and money sign. So, do you see any birds? I don't see any birds. It works perfect. Alright, so in this case, we're going to think of what we're going to do in the next episode.